Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. It's such a beautiful day today. Like, look outside. The sun's out. It's awesome. So, today I have to wash my hair. And what else am I going to do? I have to cook for the week. I have to meal prep. And this is my first vlog. So, I'm going to take you guys with me. and show you guys what I do on a normal Sunday. I also have to do church, so I have to do that online. So, yes, welcome to my vlog and welcome to my channel and enjoy. I also had bought these new white strips yesterday, so I'm finna try them out today too. Um, yeah, we're gonna see how they work out. Ooh. I just lit this, but it went out, so guess I gotta get me another candle. Alright, so I got this one out. I'm gonna try to light this one. Frosted Cranberry. My sister just gave me this because I guess she didn't like it. But here we go. Let's try this again, shall Oh, come on, baby. Come on, you got it. Alright, so I open the box. Once again, this is what it looks like. It's just some regular Crest 3D white strips. And they got 10 of these little packs in there. It's got one for upper, one for lower. So let's try it out. strips I guess the top one is the long one for the top teeth so oh, then you pull it off so it's stuck to that and then pull it off like this and then put it on your teeth I gotta wait. It says wait for 30 minutes, but. Here are the products. Here are the products I'm gonna use to wash my hair today. I'm using a co-wash because I don't like to use shampoo all the time. 
So I just, the last time I washed my hair, I used shampoo. So this time I'm going to use this co-wash and then this is going to be my conditioner for the day. And then I think I'm going to do some, um, I don't know, some flat twists into some Bantu knots and see how it comes out tomorrow, I think. Because um, I know when I do the flat twist, it takes a long time for my hair to dry. So anyway, I'm about to get in the shower and wash my hair and detangle it. And yeah, so I will see you guys when I finish washing my hair. So I just made up my bed too. And y'all don't be laughing at my old bed spread and stuff because I know I want to do something different with my bedroom, but I haven't decided what. I haven't decided if I'm going to get a new, like, completely new bed set. Like, if I want to reupholster this one. If I just want to get new comforter and stuff. Like, I don't know. And then I don't know how long I'm going to be here. Like, how much long I'm going to be here in this apartment. So, yeah. Hey, y'all. So, I just got out the shower. So, I'm about to... It's been 30 minutes, so I'm about to take these things off of my teeth. Well, I guess we'll see if they work. I gotta take a before picture. I'm gonna do that today because I didn't do that. Um, but yeah, I washed my hair. So, you know, so when I wash my hair, I usually um, wash it in the shower and I detangle it in the shower because so much of my hair comes out when I um, wash it. So I detangle it in the shower so that it's wet so that it's not breaking my hair off. And then I put it in four or six little braids or something while the conditioner is in there. So when I'm detangling it, detangling it, it still has conditioner in it. And then I put these braids in it and then I like rinse the conditioner out and then I go to do it. So catch me in my living room. Bye. expectation he exceeds our expectation and I pray he's gonna do that through his word today
Y'all, I forgot I had to vacuum today. This is whack. I don't like vacuuming. Oh. <sighs> tidied up so this is what my living room is looking like right now so yeah this kind of makes me good on a sun makes me feel good on a Sunday to have everything looking nice and tidy to start the week and there we go so I finally finished vacuuming. I'm still drinking my cold coffee. Don't judge me. I'm about to, um, what is it? It's like 2.10. I'm about to watch Mary at first sight because I need to catch up on, um, on demand. And then I'm going to chill. I'm going to try not to leave the house today, but I don't really know what I'm going to eat for dinner. Like I know I got stuff that I got a meal prep, but I don't know what I'm going to eat for dinner. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to enjoy the rest of my Sunday and I will try to remember to come back and vlog when I start cooking or if I go anywhere, I'll take y'all with me. Um, so happy Sunday. So, <laughs> so y'all, I don't know why I started doing this, but anyway, I decided to like organize all of my nail polish and, um, this is probably pretty ridiculous. But like painting my own nails and toes, it's just like a, um, it's like self care for me. Like it's relaxing. It's like something that I love to do, um, especially on weekends or Sundays. Um, so like, this is exciting. Like all this nail polish makes me so excited and I still need more. Like there are still other colors that I would love to have, um, but one thing that I've been having trouble with, man, I can't find a good top coat that dries quickly and that will hold up with me working at the hospital and putting sanitizer on my hands all day. Like my nails usually start peeling like after like one day, maybe two, maybe two, depending on how many patients I had to do or whatever. So, and I don't be trying to do no gel and all that stuff. But I guess I might should get me a gel top coat or something so it'll hold up. Um, if y'all got some suggestions, please let me know. Which may cause serious infection that can lead to death. got some pork chops here. I'm going to make some greens. I love these green beans. They're awesome. And what else? I don't know what else I want. Maybe some corn on the cob. Uh, maybe some Brussels sprouts. Maybe green beans and Brussels sprouts. Alright. So I'm going to make these too. Because since my knee is messed up, I can't work out this week. So, I'm going to try to not eat so many carbs. So, so I'm about to um, put my green beans in the oven. Uh, so, I just laid them on this same pan that I had cooked my bacon with this morning. And what I do is I put it on a low, um, like 215 or whatever at first. So, they can kind of defrost. And then I'll turn it up in a little bit too. 
Sorry, I cut that off. And then I'll turn it up in a little bit to 350. Um, maybe after like 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes. Y'all, I'm, I'm still catching up on Married at First Sight. And I can't with this girl and this little duck that she had. Talking about the duck was talking to her and missing Bennett. What is happening? They are, oh no, nah, they're still frozen. All right, so these are done. They have a nice little sear on them, a little crispy, little burnt. So I'm gonna put them over here on a little paper towel. Just so I can get a little bit of the excess olive oil off of them. And then we're about to put these in there. So. And we'll get these done. Y'all, this this whole vlogging thing has made me uber productive today. Like I didn't organize all my little stuff here, my cabinets, chill. I ain't done that in forever. And these last couple pork chops are still searing away. Now let me check on these beans. So I turned them up. Oh, look at that smoke. They about to be done. All right, so the Brussels sprouts are done. So let me turn them off. And the green beans are done too, so I've taken them out. So I'm about to put everything in my little meal prep bowls and then I'll show y'all the results. Okay, y'all, so this is the result of my little meal prep today. I like to take it pretty easy um, because, man, I'll be working a lot, y'all. Don't nobody got time. So for lunch a couple days, I got salad and soup because I ain't feel like prepping lunch. But this is going to be my dinner for four days. Then the other days that I don't have lunch, I'll just buy something at work or something. All right. So I look a little different because I thought I was going to go out to get some food, but I'm not. So I've decided that I'm just going to make a salad and make some french fries and then call it a night or whatever for dinner. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed today vlogging with me, spending the day with me, and uh, I will see you guys later. Oh, I'm, in the morning, I'm going to take my hair and I'm going to post like how my hair looked. So bye. Thank you guys for coming. See you next time. guys as promised I'm going to show you guys me taking out my hair and I'm going to show you guys the outcome of my bantu knot out flat twist bantu knot out whatever you want to call it uh, I need to get some oil some type of oil so I'm just going to put this on my fingers while I am taking my hair out just so I can have a little bit of shine. All right, so I'm just untwisting all the knots right now.
show you guys what it looks like. Alright, we're almost there. This is taking about, let's say, 10 minutes for me to unravel. All right, so we got them all. It is looking a little bit flat now, but that's cool because that means it's gonna be really defined for a long time. So of course you're gonna need a pick. So I'm about to pick this out a little bit and then I will insert a picture of the final product because I'm about to go to work so I can't be here messing with y'all all morning. So I'll be back with my picture. You guys have a great Monday, bye. So here we are after it's all picked out. Like these curls are so super defined. Like I didn't want to fluff it too much because I want it to last. I want to see how many days it lasts, but this is cute. Like I said, it's a little tight right now. Kind of a little old lady-ish, but it'll get bigger as it gets older as the week goes by. But I'm pretty satisfied with the definition. And all I did was wash my hair and use... um this like and put a little oil on it it's amazing see you guys have a happy monday bye